to another Makeup Monday video. If you are new here on my channel and you're unfamiliar with Makeup Monday, what it is is I work from one single eyeshadow palette and I've been working with the Morphe's 12P palette. And basically what I need to do is to make one shade my base lid shade. So that needs to be the, the shade that pops. And so far I've made it through this entire row, this entire row, and I've done these two. So today it was navy blue and next week will be this black. So that's definitely going to be challenging. And then we'll be moving on to a new palette. So what I had to do was take the navy blue and make it the lid shade and it actually kind of turned out looking black and smoky. I, I don't know, but I did use the navy blue, as you will see here in the video. So, if you like videos like this, please give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to my channel if you are new. Don't forget to put a, a smile on your face. It is the best makeup you can wear. And if you want to see how I got this makeup with glasses look, <laughs> make sure you stay tuned. This actually is a good look for someone who's wearing glasses. So. Stay tuned. Keep watching. Bye, guys. I'm zoomed in super close in my eyes today. Anyways, our color today is this dark navy blue. And I already have my face done and my eyes pep prepped, pepped, prepped and primed. Um, so we're just going to go in and start laying that, getting that blue on the lid there. And I am using my e.l.f. Professional Eyeshadow Brush. Ooh, that's, that's, that's navy blue, all right. So we're getting that all over the lid. And to be honest with you, like, I haven't even figured out what route I'm going yet with this blue eyeshadow. We're just gonna go with it, guys. Like we always do. I don't know why I can't get myself together. Every time I sit down for Makeup Monday, I'm like, what am I gonna do? Like, I don't have, like, a look, like, in my head. So anyways, we got this going literally pressed on the lid, like so. I think you guys lost me there. Sorry guys, I had to take care of something real quick, but I zoomed out a little bit because I was, you know, looking down in the mirror and I was losing you guys. So anyways, we do have the lid done. Now I'm going to go in with my Sigma E40 brush. And I think I'm going to go ahead and dip into this light green blue because that's what color my shirt is today. I know I totally said like I'm over blue, but like what the heck, I have to use this anyways, this um, navy blue color. So I'm just going in the crease with that. And basically we're kind of going along with a with a really soft cut crease. So we're going to blend that in and do the same thing on the other side here. And outside corner will look just a little bit darker. And you just take that, take that in like so. I know it looks crazy right now, but I promise you when we're done it's going to look nice. I'm actually going to take that into a V and try not to poke myself in the eye. And do the same thing over here. Directly into the crease. And if you can't get right in that socket, just look up. And then when you look back down, you got right in that socket area. So I'm going to go back with the Sigma E40 brush and I'm going to literally use what's left on the brush and blend, blend, blend really blend out that crease there so you're not looking crazy and you don't have like a really harsh line see how we really just went in there and just blend and I'm gonna go in with a touch of white 
literally I just tapped the brush and I'm like going over top of that and softening everything up and you can even start using circular motions do I see how that like took it down some touch of white and just blend so you get your desired look and nothing looks too harsh so you get like this nice smoky cut crease effect and I know like you could sit here and blend for 20 minutes and this is the boring part but you gotta make sure you get it all blended out like I said you don't want any really harsh lines okay so we're gonna go in with our eyeliner and I'm using my Physicians Formula Booster Pen. I Booster Pen, you guys know that I love this pen. And I think it does a great job with giving a wing. I had a friend that had a problem with hers. Um, let me know if you guys have ever had any issues with this pen, if you've tried it. I love it. Never had a problem. And it gets really close to the lashes too, which is something that I really like. And I like how I can just like go taking a Q-tip and cleaning that up. And I either go in with my powder and fix my wings or I go in with concealer or I go in with a little bit of foundation. And this is the Lumi foundation that I used today. So I'm just going to take a little tiny bit of that on a Q-tip. Not even a lot. See that? And just literally touch it up over here. And then I'll set it with a powder. Oh, that's too much. I don't normally already have my face done, but on Makeup Monday I always do because it just seems like it's easier. And the powder that I use, it's right next to me here somewhere, is the True Match Powder. And I usually just then take my finger, get a little bit of the powder on there, just set the foundation. Super easy. Um, so I wasn't sure about eyeliner. I have some new eyeliners that I'm testing out. So um, I'm going to be doing a review on those. So I just took those out because I think I'm going to use them. I'm going in with my Benefits Roller Lash Mascara. This is like my favorite mascara right now. And... I'm not doing false eyelashes because literally my eyes have been irritating me all day. I have like a watery eye. So there's no point in putting those on. I don't even know if there's a point of putting eyeliner in my waterline, but we're going to go with it. I haven't even picked out lipstick yet. Seriously, guys, I need to get my life together. So these a friend purchased for me. I'm going to back out here. So a friend purchased these for me, and they are the Amazon, like, must-haves. And so I think we're going to go in, actually, with this dark blue. And it's called Royal Blue. And the name on it is called... I'm not even going to try to say that. I'm just going to... Ooh, I just bumped the camera. I'm sorry. Put this up here and see if you guys can see it. I'll leave it in the description box. But as you can see, it is Royal Blue. And we're going to line the waterline with it. This is pretty. And very creamy. It literally just glides on, you guys. My friend Heather picked these up for me. She dropped them off the other day and she's like, I looked up the Amazon must-haves and I read all the v reviews and everybody was saying these are amazing liners and I think everybody had that right. Look how pigmented that is. Let's just take a little upside the wing here. Gorgeous. Like we just pretty much just extended that wing out on either side right alongside the black. Like, just, that's fantastic. I like that. Ooh. Okay, here's my problem here. I don't know if I should use latte 
liquor latte on my lip or if I should use far away lipstick from makeup Revo or freedom revolution because I just feel like I'm like so the eyes are like popping I'm like super blue so I don't know that I should use that or should I use like a gray tone lipstick like a shiny I don't know that's probably too much that's too much that's too much let's go with a light lip so we're gonna go in with this liquid lipstick here and it is called liquor latte and it's a liquid lipstick and it's really nude on me Yeah, I do have a lip gloss on that I probably should have wiped off. Shanna, get your life. Let me let me start over. Get it together. I'm going to use one of these eyeliners as a lip liner just because I have it over here. I'm going to use medium brown. Because in my opinion, eyeliner and lip liner are the same thing, so why not? I just want to have like a little bit of an outline because this lipstick is so super nude to have something to follow. These smell so good. Ooh, yes. I feel like this is like the perfect lip color for this look. And I did review these. That, that video won't be up for a little while, I don't think. Like, you guys will see this one before you guys see um, the liquid lipstick review. So I really need to go and do my hair because it's like absolutely crazy, but we're just going to take it down anyways because the look is finished. It is complete. I need to throw on a little more blush because I'm not feeling the sheer blush that I have on today, but see you soon. Bye.